I'm recording, do you mind? No, that's all right. <laughs> what do you think? I just, I wasn't playing the test ride, I just called them the Indian. Yeah. And they offered me a test ride. Very nice. Remind you of your old soft tail slim. Yeah, it does actually. Got, um, it's got a stage one, a stage two kit on it. Yeah. 116 cubic inches. Yeah, nice. And, uh, Sounded pretty tough when you pulled. Yeah, I, th I thought you. I thought you might yeah. might get your attention. Yeah, that's good. It, wasn't oh, it does remind me a lot of the soft stuff so much. It does, doesn't it? Wait, well, it sort of sits down low and, and then, but it rides beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. You know how the, the sling used to scrape easy? Yeah. I haven't scraped oh, yet. It's got no floorboards. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah but yeah. Uh, the the Super Chief Limited has floorboards. Yeah. Which would be the one I'd probably go for. But actually, this is pretty damn good though. Mm. Yeah, right. Well, do you want to sit on it? Yeah. Just watch the exhaust pipe to be hot. Just watch your leg. Pretty comfy. Well, I wasn't expecting to be doing this today, but I just called into Indian Motorcycle here in Ballarat, and uh, I was looking at a couple of the bikes and just checking things out when Mark kindly offered me a test ride on a bike. A bike I've, I haven't actually test ridden before and I've always wanted to test ride, thanks courtesy of uh, Indian Motorcycle here in Ballarat. And it's not a Royal Enfield, it's an Indian. And Mark's got the bike all set up for me, ready to go. As this bike right here, the Indian Chief. Now this bike has got a stage 1 or stage 2 kit on it, so the exhaust system is not standard. And uh, as you can see here, the air cleaner is not standard as well. So it's going to have a little bit of a kick up in performance over and above a stock Indian Chief. But I have ridden the 116 in the Springfield on this particular bike right here. And... Um, it had plenty of oomph uh, in in a heavier bike that the Springfield is in, in stock form. So I know it's going to have uh, plenty of go for me. All right. So sitting on the bike, um, it certainly feels you know comfortable and sizable for me. I'd I'd go the uh, Super Chief Limited would be my cup of tea. I think. But at least this will give me a good idea of the proportions of the bike and the feel of the bike. I believe I can just start that. There we go. And I will do a bit of a, a bit of a ride around. But once we get out a bit. Um, just getting used to the bike. It's a bit of a reach there actually, with these bars. Alright. Now. Okay, it's switched to, okay, you can switch that from daylight to nighttime mode by the looks. Let's just see what the clutch is like. Yeah, there's plenty of oomph there. It's just, um, you can just let the clutch out and it just rolls away. Now this riding position for me is not um, yeah, I, I don't like this riding position with the bars just too far forward which brings my knees up and I feel a bit cramped up but you know, that's, that's not the purpose of this test ride it's not to, uh, to see if this bike's going to be suitable for me it's going to be see if this platform is suitable for me initial feelings just pulling away there um, you know, when you first get on a bike that you haven't ridden before and, you know, uh, you don't know what to expect. Um, first impressions, yeah, it feels, feels quite easy to ride, which is good. The seat feels nice and comfortable. Uh, initial feeling from the suspension, the way it picks up and... and um, rides over bumps feels very good <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, it's just popping every time I change gears
All right, my, the initial feelings I'm getting from this is, uh, yeah, I, I, instantly, uh, this is putting a smile on my face now. Uh, this is a platform, yeah, like even just changing direction is just so easy. That's nice. Um, this is, yeah, I, I can instantly feel I'm gonna get to, get right at home with this bike very quickly. I'm in third gear. Now that was a, a decent bump and that felt no problems at all. I've got on the gauge here I can switch through different modes I believe and there's a little um, a little toggle which I'll play with once I get more accustomed to the bike but everything's easy to read I can at a glance see you know without my glasses on what speed I'm doing it's very easy to read actually because often I struggle with um, dashes which are a bit smaller but this is fine I can see my revs 2000 rpm I'm doing at the moment at 60 k's now in third gear I don't feel a need to go up a gear now actually now that I'm moving and I've got a bit of wind on my chest <coughs> this riding position starts is starting to feel or make more sense because if you didn't have a screen which this doesn't have um, having having yourself leaning into the wind is uh, is ideal if you don't have a screen so now it's starting to work and I reckon once I get something to highway speed it'll work even better yeah so as I said I wasn't expecting to do this ride today at all it just took me completely by surprise fortunately I had my uh, my gear with me my camera gear and stuff and uh, when Mark offered me the test ride naturally I said yes now I don't know what mode I'm in actually come to think of it I don't know if you can hear that pipe what I'll do is I'll I'll I've got this set up so it's it really focuses on my voice and, and cuts the wind out but I will drive right around for a bit with the microphone uh, the recorder and in, in my in the back of my jacket so you can hopefully hear the what the what the bike sounds like and I will do a walk around too as well so you can have a look at it and check that out but um, yeah I'm 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 very impressed <laughs> instantly with this platform as you guys or regular viewers will know I'm I'm a big fan of the Scout and I've seriously seriously been thinking about the Scout Bobber 20 which is why I was in uh, in at Indian motorcycle in Ballarat and I was talking to Mark there the sales manager and uh, you know, he, he said, you know, he feels that I might get a bit sick of the Scout quickly for its size and if, especially if I want to do a bit of touring around and, and things like that. And that's why he recommended I definitely test ride this before, you know, uh, before even in thinking about buying a Scout. And uh, yeah, this is nice. Just beautiful through that bend there. This riding position does make me want to sort of push it a little uh, or is encouraging me to to push it a bit now the gearbox you know felt a little heavier than i'm used to but obviously i'm used to a 750 this is what 1890 odd cc's if i'm incorrect there i'll uh, uh what's going on here mm. I don't want to get their bike all dirty. What am I in third? We can drop that down a second. The, the 116 engine in this uh, I rode in the Springfield and really liked that engine. I uh, really like this engine. I just love the way it pulls and uh, it's, it's all about torque and that's where I like to ride Ike bikes, that you just ride around on torque. And uh, this is certainly uh, not letting me down. Now I've got, to, I've got to work out where the modes are because I have no idea what mode I'm in. I will pull over if I can, well I will pull over somewhere and find out what mode it's in. What's this truck doing? It's turning. Yeah. It's a 
pity because I like this bend. Now, yeah, so that's interesting there. I, can, I have heard people talk about vibrations coming through the engine once you get up in the rev range, and yeah, it does up around four. I hit four then. I get, it does get a bit coarse the engine, but you know, at what am I at 2,000 rpm now? It's smooth as butter, and you know what I'm. If I go up to fifth, six, six gear, 60 kilometers an hour, so 37 miles an hour. I was doing about well, 1,400 rpm or even less, 1,200 rpm, and you know I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, not being fair to the bike, but it's doing it. No problems at all. It's saying yeah, all right, no worries. Yeah, if I suppose if I if I get herky jerky and I throttle a little. Well, that's pretty good actually. I thought it might sort of start to surge and hunt. Now, it does a little bit, but you know, I'm really pushing the limits here. But 1200 RPM, basically idling at 60 kilometers an hour in uh, top gear, and it's doing it no worries at all. Yeah, this is yeah, this bike here is, is starting to, to have my name on it, I think. Now, this little icon badge here is where the GPS. Uh, units located or the antenna for the GPS so um, which is pretty clever I like that idea so this bike does have inbuilt GPS where are we look at my gears look at that few there balance is really nice when we're doing yeah what, five or ten k's an hour you can I could do that all day just sit there Yeah, I like this engine. Hundred k's an hour, top gear, just sixty miles an hour, two thousand RPM, piece of cake. And this riding position, leaning forward, is uh, is working well. Yeah, you've got to hang on. I'm, I'm, you know, I've, I can certainly feel the wind pulling me back, and I'm, I'm, I'm hanging off the bars a bit uh, because of the wind pressure. But you know, uh, if this had uh, mini apes like the Bobber version of the Chief, I think I'd be wanting to look for a screen or something. And with this seat is proving to be very comfortable and um, it's but it, but when you accelerate you do have to hang on there's not a lot of um, support on the back of the seat there's a little bit but not a lot yeah this uh, this bike and this engine and this weight and the weight handles it makes me want to attack corners which is awesome very pleased with the suspension that's riding all everything so far it's just riding the bumps fine beautiful now this has instantly replaced the uh oh a bit of gravel no it's been fine This has instantly replaced the uh, Scout as being my favourite Indian, 100%. And yeah, I like the I like both the Springfield and the Scout. The Springfield because of the 116 and and the way it rode, it was just it just rode beautifully. Um, the Scout, you know, you, you're limited with the suspension travel, and so she's a bit harder over the bumps and that. But this is a nice mix, actually. This blends the best of the Springfield with the best of the Scout. I reckon that's that's nailed it. Which is, which is, um, whoop, my mirror's just gone a bit floppy. <laughs> Went to grab the brakes and uh, there's a mirror in the way. Got to fix that.
It's going to have to sit up there for a bit. All right, lock your in first. I love how you can just let the clutch out and she just takes off. You don't have to give it a heap or anything. It gets up to its peak revs very fast. Gonna have to rely on this mirror because that one's, uh, I can't adjust it because it'll just fall down again. And I need my front brakes. Right, fourth gear, fifth gear. All the pull you'd ever need, fantastic. Now that, uh, you know, I'm on the highway and I'm in this forward leaning position. Yeah, that's fine. I can, no worries at all. It works really well. Long term, I want. I would want the Super Chief Limited with the screen uh, bar sitting back a little bit. I can just sit back a little bit more on comfort. The luggage. What a comfortable bike. So, I really, really like uh, the seats. Very comfortable. So I'm surprised actually. And. With the Super Chief Limited you get floorboards so you can move your feet around but having said that I'm finding this to be very comfortable. My feet position and you know, just have, I'm just hooking my, my toe under the gear lever there. Might get past these trucks. Wow, look at the acceleration. So that, that pull there went like 100, 110 k's an hour, top gear, it just, it just goes. Like you would easily get to 160 k's or 100 miles an hour in a, in a few seconds just by holding it on in top gear. It's, uh, it's very impressive. Now, this riding position, with I've got there's a fair bit of wind on my chest. It, my hands are starting to get, you know, starting to fatigue a little bit from hanging on to the bars. So, for me, um, as a tourer, this this riding position is 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 not wouldn't work for me long term. But yeah, just a, as a as a fun bike to ride around, not doing a lot of touring. Yeah, this is awesome, and I really like. I'm enjoying the riding position surprisingly. As as you know, when I first hopped on a bike, I just thought, no, this is not going to work for me at all. But it does. Brakes are good. Now I'm not going with specs or anything because I haven't done any research or refreshed my memory on what the um, what the specs are, what the weight of the bike is. To be honest, don't care. Uh, all I care about is that what's it like to ride. And, uh, handles fine. Doesn't feel heavy at all. Hasn't felt heavy anywhere, other than uh, you know you notice the, the weight of the bike when you first pick it up off the stand and and um, well, even then it didn't feel too bad at all actually we'll just pull over here and we'll do a little bit of a walk around yeah I like it nice and easy to handle at um, you know lower speeds and weight wise backing up on gravel here normally on a like on a big heavy cruiser you you, you start pushing back and your feet are slipping no problems at all with this thing yeah this is a good size for me because it's given me a um, a larger cruiser feel in performance and that wise but 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 not doesn't feel like a large cruiser if that makes sense that's it I wish I had my uh, other camera here today because I would take some nicer nicer footage of it but um, yeah there it is so the only thing this has got different is the stage I think I'll have to ask Mark I'll put on on the screen whether it's I can't remember he said it was either a stage one or a stage two kit on it uh, that's what I've got to do I've got to find the modes because I have no idea what mode I'm in I'm not sure if this is the way it comes or whether it's had a tail tidy put on Ah, uh, geez, a beautiful looking bike too. I, I've always been a fan of the Chiefs. You know, to be honest, I thought the extra weight of the Chief, because, you know, when you compare the weight of the Scout to the weight of the Chief, um, 
there is a, a fair bit of extra weight but to, to be honest I, I'm not feeling it at all you get your LED headlight um, on the Chief here in Australia I know in the, in the US you have a couple of different versions you have the, the 111 and 116 but we don't get the 111 here we only get the 116 versions which come with this ride command system which has a GPS fire it up and while I'm here actually let's see if I can find those modes so it has GPS has cruise control which I did forgot to test I'll test that I think it only works over 30 k's an hour but I know what cruise control is so that, that's totally fine uh, and that's a, a must for me on longer trips the grips are a nice size um, often you know you get bikes where for me for larger hands the grips feel too thin and spindly that works for my glove now there is a little little toggle switch up here and there's one over one here as well and if you can see those and the gps you don't need your phone or anything it's just all fully um self-standing you don't don't have to hook up your phone which would be so handy to have ah okay i was in standard all right now what i'm going to do i'm going to switch it to sport actually i will i'll switch it to sport once i get off this gravel because i have no idea how how uh, excitable that throttle is going to be once I do that all right so this here gives me my gear fuel taco speed direction compass direction and my odometer there's my indicator flashing there and outside temperature battery voltage liters per 100 k's fuel range oh, that's good 145 k's left on a, this is about a half a tank click that I'm into sport back up standard okay cool so I can do all that on the fly which I will do uh, obviously you've got a little music button here so that's obviously to do with infotainment you can probably hook up your phone in some way um, but yeah let's have a little look over the bike now that I've got that sorted the seat surprisingly comfortable yeah I'll, I'll give that a thumbs up that's that's um, no problems at all suspension great no, no worries at all um, like with the, if I bought a scout bobber 20 the first thing I'd be doing is by would be would be to put uh, Fox shocks on it and they're about two and a half thousand dollars in Australia I would change your seat on the scout bobber 20 the, the seat we get here I don't like I would go for that tractor style seat I would probably end up fitting the LED headlight it doesn't have a he LED headlight on the scout and you can't have cruise control on the scout um, you can't have the GPS on the Scout. I did price up a Scout Bobber 20 and by the time I put the bits on it that I wanted I'm getting up around 28, 29, close to 30 grand. So it's, it's only a few thousand dollars more than the Scout and um, for me, for the sort of riding I'm doing, it's yeah, it's it's 100% better. I love the Scout, don't get me wrong, I, I absolutely love the Scout but this this bike here um, overcomes all the potential niggles that the Scout has uh, and it's all just here ready to go. I was noticed that when I was looking at my brake pedal, even this, I like I like the design of this little reservoir here. Just nice touches. It's, it's really nice, really nicely designed. Engine's beautifully designed and it is the showcase and I love the frame, how it kicks down and swoops down around and under. And I like I actually like this section here. The way Indian have done that. I hope all this is showing up well on the camera. These this exhaust system was very nice actually. And actually surprisingly, I just realized I don't have my earplugs in. And that wasn't too loud for me. Maybe the wind noise was, was just overcoming, overriding anything. But that actually is that that system there, I think it looks beautiful. I love the shape of these these tips and the way it just sort of just curves in. Um yeah that that that's that is a nice sound it's not too loud for me which is surprising because any system that i normally hear it's just instantly that it's just too loud i don't like it it has it has some um, presence and it ha you can hear it but uh yeah no I'm, I'm very very impressed very impressed just so nicely designed so compact yes yeah, not very not very high off the ground like you look there we're looking at one on the side stand but I had no issues uh, so far with corner clearance. I haven't touched down anywhere. Brakes are, are really good. I'm surprised. 
like it's only well i'm not surprised because I'm, i've ridden bikes with single discs and i find them to be completely fine i reckon it's about a 300 mil i've got a 320 on my nc750x which i really like uh, but having said that you know look at the size of that rear disc uh, this has got uh, plenty of stopping power I have no issues with the uh, braking performance on this bike at all and you get a nice little Indian uh, stamped uh, logos all over the bike like here in the frame got nice little Indian badges I like it as you can probably tell I like it a lot actually I might just um, on the way back swing past uh, my son's place where we, we've been working this week renovating his house let him have a look at it because he owned the soft tail slim so I reckon he'll uh, he'll get a kick out of this but the floorboards are a little bit lower and that might be enough for me then you can just sort of stretch your legs out and move around your feet around a bit I know, I kind of like the pegs yeah the pegs are cool they're, they're, I found them very comfortable they're nice and wide yeah which is good Breathing in gorse, exhaust fumes there, but uh, I'm sure you'll agree that sounds pretty good. I'm like a big kid. So what's this model called? This is the this is the Indian Chief. Chief. So they have the Indian Chief. They have a Chief Bobber, yeah. which has you know, bars up here, and then they have the Super Chief Limited, which has bags. Oh, yeah. um, the handlebars are like beach more like beach bars that come towards you like this yeah. and, and a big screen yeah, which is detachable and yeah. uh, which you can remove and floorboards I'm being super careful because the last thing I want to do is drop um, this bike but having said that like, look, it's just so easy so can I switch it to um, Sport on the fly. Uh, uh, how do I do this again? Alright. I might have to back off. Alright, now we're in sport. I'll double check that. Yep, sport. Yeah, okay. The uh, throttle's definitely a lot more off on. Hang on, I'll close that. Yeah, the, the throttle's definitely a lot lively and sharper. I have to watch myself here because uh, so it gets going to go up to speed real fast. That's the impression I get. Let's see. Oh yeah! Wow! <laughs> that was just. I, I gave it about 20% throttle. I reckon she just launched. And I'm, I'm hanging on because there's just no no support on the rear seat to stop me from sliding off the back. Well, there's a little bit, but not enough. Definitely not enough to overcome the torque this thing has. Yeah. This is definitely a winner. This here. Um, this display here. Yeah, it's LED headlight. LED, uh, LED indicators. Um, and the, these are your brake and indicators. Oh yeah. So the indicators on the outside. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah. And see the um, the dash. Oh, cool. It's electronic. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, yeah analog dash in it. Though. Yeah. So you got uh, there's your taco. Yeah. Speed, gear and gear position, fuel tank. Yeah. And then um, your little toggle here you can flip to different oh, yeah. things, and it has. A built-in GPS. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah so stick so you can put your me. navigation in. Yeah. And uh, it just that's shows cool. you the speed. Yeah. And uh, and away you go, just navigate around the place. That's what really impressed me about Indian when I, the first time I, I rode one was the Scout, and I thought, wow, what a great engine. And uh, when I rode the Springfield, the 116, I thought, wow, what a great engine. And Indian really, really do engines well. 
got so much character and beautiful performing and uh, it's great. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, cool. Cruise control. Yeah. Um, and the seat's comfortable, you know. And, oh, so much torque. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like, I put in, I was right around standard mode. I put it into sport mode and you had to roll on from 80 to 100. Yeah. And like, I, I couldn't, I gave it about 20% because yeah. I was going to just come off the back of this. <laughs> it, like, the, that, that holds on a little bit, but not enough for this amount of torque this has got. Yeah. So the standard 116 would be plenty for me. I, I rode the standard 116 in the Springfield, which is a much heavier bike, and that was plenty, you know, just the, the sheer grunt getting onto the freeway speeds and things like that. I was talking to Mark about demo bikes, because Indian used to have, you know, quite a good range of demo bikes, and they seem to be going the same way as the, uh, like Honda and Kawasaki, and uh, in that, you know, I'm seeing less and less in the way of demos, and. They've had, they've got this one, but I think this is pretty much, as far as I know, the only demo there. They might, I might be wrong, but uh, Mark was telling me the problem is that uh, Indian won't sell them a bike or let them have a bike if it's uh, going to be used for demo purposes, and uh, not because they don't want people to ride their bikes. It's just that they're they're saving all their stock for customers, which is great. You know, if you want to buy a bike they're not letting them go out as demos they're just just reserving and holding them for customers they just, they just can't get stock like if i was to order a super chief limited we're looking at six months if i was to order a springfield you're looking to six to nine months even the scout is um you look, you're looking at three months now just in sport mode here at 80 k's an hour and fourth gear it's you know off on off on off on it's pretty um pretty choppy if i go up a gear what happens there that smooths out a lot, that's better. Um, yeah, so so uh, we're talking about demo bikes and getting demo bikes, they just, the, the Indian won't let them have them and roll on. All right, that was, whoa, there's a little kick there. So that was um, roll on, fifth gear, 80 Ks to 100. So uh, what's that, 50 to 60, around about miles per hour. And when it hit three, there was a little surge, like a little whoop, just wanted to go. So it was sort of um, lugging a little bit, and then it hit three, and then I could just feel it was going to take off, and I, I rolled off just before, just after it started to push. Here's a classic case. I'm test riding this bike, and 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 for, and discovering that this is the perfect platform for me. Uh, before I test rode it, I, you, you only wonder. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. You know. Just so uh, nice to handle and easy to just swoop around those bends. Now this is going to be hard to get onto this road, so if this person's a little bit nervous, we could be sitting here for a little while. I know I'm going to have plenty of power to <laughs> to get in get in ahead of this traffic. This is they're all doing 100 k's now, 110. But yeah, no, very impressed. Now I can't, I can't get this thing full acceleration with this seat, no way known. The, um, it's just, I, I, I just can't. <laughs> I'll be off the back before you know it. What a great bike. This is what I like about cruisers, you know, you get to 100 k's an hour at a highway speed, drop her in the sixth gear and she just lopes away and just so relaxed. Okay, now I'm getting back to 80k an hour or in town speeds. I can feel that I want to put it back to standard mode. I like that it's that's so easy to do on the fly. It's nice. Just, just pull the toggle in, flick to where you want to go, and oh, I forgot to try out the cruise control again. So if I can do it here. Right, so that's it. No, we're set. I can't read the text on there. It's pretty small. There we go. So in, set. So now we're on cruise control.
I like cruise control, it just gives you a hand to brake, especially on a longer trip. You know, some people say you don't need it and that's fine, but um, if you're on a bike for hours, it does get tires from just, oh, that's a pretty big bump, that was fine. Good. Bike handled it well. Yeah, it just, just gives you a hand to brake, you know. I think you just sit there relaxed and um, it's also good for, for speeding fines. You just put it on the speed limit, you don't have to worry about it. I can back it off. Just drop it down a notch. I mean, fifth gear works in fifth fine. But as long as you're above 30 k's an hour, I believe, is, uh, is the way it works. Yep. Cool. And then to uh, deactivate it, you can pull a clutch in, roll the throttle forward, pull the brakes on. I, I, I just use the clutch because the bike doesn't slow down at all, or there's no, you know, uh, if someone's behind you, you haven't sort of just eased off all of a sudden. Uh, yeah, that's great. Now if I press it again, does it turn? Yeah. So I press it again. If I turn it on, you see the little light here. Press it again, it just turns it off. So cool. Going up and down gears is a breeze. Clutch is is, is not heavy at all. It's not uh, it's not a super lightweight clutch, but it's definitely not heavy. It's a very easy pull. Very smooth too. I like um, this instrument display. It's, everything's very easy to read. So from here on in, I'm just going to ride around. Um, I'll call over and see my son and show him the bike on the way back. It's just it's on the way, so we'll, we'll drop in. And uh, uh, yeah, if I don't get back on from here on in, it'll just be footage of uh, me, and you can hear the bike. Hopefully, hopefully the sound works out alright. Um, hear what it's like to ride. All right, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and. Uh, Thanks for joining me on my test ride at the Chief, which I uh, absolutely love. I think it's a fantastic bike, and I could see easily, easily see myself on an Indian Chief. In fact, uh, I reckon that's what I'm going to do, you know. Super Chief Limited. Six months, though. That's a long wait. All right, thanks again for watching, and until next time, bye for now. <laughs> Sorry, Dad, Jay, what did you say? That... I'll be crucified on the internet if I say that again. <laughs> I don't, repeat what you said, I'll just turn my camera on. No, no. <laughs> no. Jared just said that uh, he thinks he likes this better than the soft tail slim looks wise. Mm. I won't put that in the video if you don't want to be crucified on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. <laughs>